morning, church. Good morning. Um, my name is Mohadi Paladi, and I am currently residing in Alberton. So my testimony today goes as follows. So um, I, I had a lot of issues in the from this year, and my issues mainly derived from my previous employer because I think way back in 2020, I came to testify in church wherein I said that I just completed my LLB degree and by the grace of God through this church, I got a job. So according to our profession is that after completing your degree, you need to serve um, two years of articles and then you also need to write four board exams. So I found a place of employment. I served my articles for two years and then I, I had to leave the company where I was working. So throughout when I was working at that company, things were just not okay. Things were not going well, but then um, I managed to get another job and I came to testify here in church last year. So now I passed the remaining board exam that I had and now I had to prepare my staff for to get admitted as an attorney. So my previous employer had to sign a confirmatory affidavit just to confirm that I worked with him for the past two years. So I started giving him my documents in November 2022. And when he had to sign it, he kept on giving me problems to an extent that I had to get lawyers involved. I had to come to church, be put on prayer line because he just didn't want to sign my things. And then eventually he signed the documents. So early January, I then got queries from our legal practice council. And they were saying that there's certain things that he signed and they're not correct, so he needs to amend it. So I drafted the document again and I gave it to him to sign and he didn't want to sign. So my parents encouraged us that we need to come to prayer line. And then we came for two consecutive weeks while on prayer line. So then they gave me a deadline that by the 7th of, Jan of February, my documents need to be signed. And if they're not signed, because they had allocated a date for me for my admission, which was the 23rd, which was last week, then I was not going to get admitted as an attorney. Then I had to start the process again. So I came to church and... We were on prayer line, then my mother spoke to one of the ladies in the, the groups that they have, the women of faith groups that they have. And then um, the sister then spoke to Evangelist Lungi, and they said that they'll also tell uh, Pastor Spirit to speak to me so that they can call and pray for me. So they did do that. They called me, they prayed for me, and they told me that it is well. So the 7th of February came, my previous employer still didn't want to sign my things, so I had to plead with the Legal Practice Council to just give me an extension. And I had hoped that he would sign it before the end of the week. And by God's grace, he did sign it um, after the 7th, and they granted me the extension. So I was in the process, I was using my mediums, which was my Rafa oil and my Rafa salt. And even with the documents, when we had to take it to him, we anointed the documents and then they went to give it to him. These are the mediums that I was using. And by God's grace today, as I stand here, I can say that last week on the 23rd, I got admitted as an attorney and the whole process went well. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Sister, just to take you back a bit, please narrate to us some of the challenges you went through before and during the course of this. Hallelujah. The challenges that I went through is just I, I felt like it was a spiritual attack or, or something of that nature because my boss was just not was refusing to sign the things and he knew that I worked for him for two years and I drafted the document so all he had to do was just to read and confirm and just sign but then just for him to sign a three page document he was refusing to sign it so the challenges were very hard but then by God's grace everything went well. Praise the Lord. So do we all agree? So do we, do, are you trying to tell us that all those challenges were succumbed by the power of prayer and prayer mediums? Yes, I can confirm that. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <clears throat> Going by the photos we are seeing on the screens of our television, who are we looking at, sister? That was me on Friday at the High Court in Johannesburg. Our Lord is good. People of God, our Lord is good. 
and all the times. Praise the Lord. The book of Psalm 118 verse 23 says that this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ once again. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is a miracle working God. So how are you feeling? How can you express yourself, sister, with what the Lord has done for your life? I am feeling very happy because um, this is something that I wanted for the longest time. Like I said, I completed my degree in 2020. So also, like with me writing the board exams, it was very challenging. So that now that this came to pass, I am very happy and grateful. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And lastly, in your own words, please tell us, your word of advice for people who are going through carryover, who are going through procrastination and various challenges in their careers, in their businesses, and other areas of their lives. Please tell us in your own words, your word of advice. My word of advice, okay, I have two. Firstly, it's to the parents in the church. Um, I just believe that because of my family unity, and the fact that my family, especially my parents, they were encouraging me at times that I was losing hope that we must come to the prayer line and everything will be fine. So parents need to always support their children and always bring them closer to God because I was losing hope. But then my family brought me closer to God and that made me have faith. And then the second one is um, they, people also need to listen in church. When they say that there's a woman of faith group, then they need to join because like I said, with that, my mom had joined the Women of Faith group and they were able to pray for me in the group because she explained to them the challenges that I was going through. So I also believe that that also played a role. So my advice is that, that we need to always listen to what they say to church. If they say join certain things, then don't take it for granted because with me today, I can attest that it did help me and it helped me through my mother and my father as well. Amen and amen. People of God, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ for this wonderful advice. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister, we want to stand here in the presence of God and also encourage you that as you are going to go out and use your profession to glorify the name of the Lord, to uphold justice, equity, trustworthiness, faithfulness in the society. We pray and believe with you that the Lord Jesus Christ will do more and more and more and we believe with you that better is not good enough, but the best is yet to come in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God.